Uh, some breaking news now. We understand a Scottish Parliamentary Committee has concluded that First Minister Nicola Sturgeon misled Parliament. Uh, Sky News understands that Holyrood's Harassment Committee has reached the conclusion by a majority vote ahead of the publication of its final report. Now, it will significantly increase pressure, of course, on Miss Sturgeon to step down. We can head to Holyrood now, join our Scotland correspondent, James Matthew. This news coming in the last few moments. James, what have you heard? Yeah, big news, Jonathan. Uh, this is a long-awaited report. This harassment committee has been looking into the circumstances, you'll remember, two years ago of an investigation into harassment complaints against Alex Salmon. Uh, that collapsed, that government investigation, Alex Salmon challenged it legally. Uh, the big question, or many of the questions, have been surrounding Scotland's current First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon. You'll remember she gave evidence to this harassment committee for eight hours recently. Um, one, well, among the accusations she faces has been that she misled Parliament on a, on a number of matters. She's repeatedly denied that. Uh, what this harassment committee have concluded, the full report will be published in the coming days, but they have reached conclusions as part of the process, an ongoing process. They have concluded that, to their mind, she misled them and therefore Parliament uh, in her evidence about a meeting in her house on the 2nd of April 2018. And she misled them, they say, it's a, it was a majority vote on the committee, because she gave them a written submission in which she insisted she didn't offer to intervene in that complaints process, in the investigation. She repeated that uh, in oral evidence, uh, but the committee has reached the view that in doing so, uh, she misled them because there was other evidence uh, that was heard from Alex Salmond, confirmed by his legal advisor, that both of whom were in the house at the same time. They said that they were under the impression and they heard her offer to intervene. So the committee have said that's where the First Minister misled Parliament. Uh, I'll read you uh, a quote from uh, the text that they have voted on and passed by majority this evening. Uh, they have said, the committee notes there is a fundamental contradiction in the evidence in relation to whether at the meeting on the 2nd of April 2018 the First Minister did or did not agree to intervene. Taking account of the competing versions of the event, the committee believes that she did in fact leave Alex Salmond with the impression that she would, if necessary, intervene. This is confirmed by Duncan Hamilton, who was also at the meeting. Her written evidence is therefore an inaccurate account of what happened and she has misled the committee on this matter, they say. They add this is a potential breach of the ministerial code under the terms of section 1.3. See. Now, what they don't say is that um, she knowingly misled the committee. Knowingly uh, misleading the parliament, that is grounds for a breach of the ministerial code. They do not use that word knowingly. So to that extent, um, uh, there will be debate as to whether or not Nicola Sturgeon is in breach of the ministerial code no doubt a subject for debate in the days uh, and weeks to come. Let's listen. I think we can listen to some of the evidence that she gave to the committee. This is Nicola Sturgeon, Scotland's First Minister, talking about um, whether or not she had offered to intervene on behalf of Alex Salmond. From the minute I saw the, the letter, I knew that it would not be appropriate for me to intervene. I probably was trying to, you know, soften that for him. Maybe from his accounts, I softened that too much. I was also thinking about, you know, in, in real time, um, you know, is there anything I have to do? Do I, do I have to report this to anybody? So all of that was going through my head um, as we were, were having this discussion. And But I did not intervene because for the reasons I set out very vehemently to, to Margaret Mitchell, I don't think that would have been appropriate for, for me to do. There you go. That con that um, is in parallel, I suppose. She had, previous to that, given a written submission. I'll just read you her very categoric insistence that she hadn't offered to intervene. And you can contrast and compare that with what you've just heard. I made clear to him, this was Nicola Sturgeon, that I had no role in the process and would not seek to intervene in it. I took no action as a result of this meeting. So there you go. That report will be published in full 
uh, in the coming days. The thing is, Jonathan, what happens is a parliamentary committee presents uh, its report to the parliament and the parliament does uh, what it deems fit. There's an election looming. There are only two business days left in the parliament next week and they're already fully timetabled. So quite what the fallout will be in terms of debate and consequences of this, these findings, uh, you know, we'll have to wait uh, and see. But that's, the, uh, that's the, the headline tonight, is that Scotland's First Minister uh, has been deemed to have misled the Parliament, a majority vote by Holyrood's Harassment Committee. Yeah, huge development. James, thank you very much indeed. James Matthews there.